Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will cover how to maintain um, our source layer hierarchy um, inside Rhino when we export to Illustrator. So here we have this layer, which contains three sub layers. Each of these have their own sub layers, and these sub layers also have their own sub layers. Some of these are, they only have one, whereas others have two. Um, so this is basically a uh, motion path tracing for a jump action. And these lines are separated by the parts of the body. So we have the body, leg, and arm. And inside here, we also have further subdivision with fingers, wrist, elbow, etc. So if we were to make 2D, let's say we wanted to do a right view. So this view, there is a, oops, all right, let's just do that again. There's a very important option here that you need to make sure um, to select, which is maintain source layers. The rest of the other options you can um, leave however you'd like, but let's say you didn't do make source layers. What you would have is a single layer which contains all of your curves and it would all just be, yeah, like that. That's not what we want. We want all of our lines to be on their um, respective layers that we had it previously. So let's get rid of that and let's try again. Okay, so yeah, maintain source layers, very important. And now what we'll have, this takes a bit longer depending on how many individual layers you have, um, but if, I'm just gonna hide this now. So the top view, this is our result, it's flat. And if you look down here, it contains the same layer hierarchy as we had in our object up here. So we'll just export this, save it to our desktop. Um, another thing to keep note, please make sure you have this option unselected, which is ordered layers. Uh, if you do select this, what you'll see is every layer that you have here will be reversed. So it's kind of, it's a little bit, it's kind of counterintuitive, but just, um, that's just a quirk of this script that I have. Um, so yeah, make sure you have uh, order layers turned off, set your scale. Um, this might be too small. Okay, so once we have that exported, we'll just open up the Illustrator file. And you don't want to just make sure you don't create any new layers here. You just want to like um, set up your scale and run your script immediately. So just go into file, scripts, other scripts, find where you um, downloaded the script. Again, the download will be uh, in the description. So just go into, I think it's in desktop for me. Yep, fixed layers. So once you run this, um, it'll basically set up your... Um, layers properly. Um, it uses the data from the layer names. So Rhino, thankfully, provides um, all the layer hierarchy information inside each of these um, names. But the problem is it just gives you like every line has its own layer. Um, so the script here, what it does, if we run this again, it just looks at that information and then gives you what you really want, which is a layer hierarchy, just like the one inside Rhino. So just to show, we can uh, turn off the body, arm, go into that, elbow, wrist, shoulder, we have everything we had in, um, in our Rhino file. So with that, um, I guess it concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment down below and uh, make sure to subscribe and yeah, give it a, give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thank you.